morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, October 5th. I'm starting my day by heading out to Bonners Ferry, Idaho to go meet my auntie and get a quarter of beef, which is basically a whole lot of steaks and ground beef and roasts, all that pre-packaged. Uh, it's at the butcher shop right now, so I'm gonna go to the butcher, get the meat. I got a cooler in the back, a bunch of ice just in case. Um, I really don't know how much to expect. We have a smaller Yeti, and then I also got a couple garbage bags that I can fill with ice if we need to. I, I just have no idea what to expect, really. Um, but yeah, my plan is to kind of talk to the butcher, maybe, if, if he looks nice and cool. Um, and then show you around the place, show you loading up the stuff. Uh, I forgot to eat breakfast, so I got a protein shake, I got a Celsius for the ride. Um, but yeah, it's about an hour and 45 minute drive, just getting started. Should be a beautiful day, sunny, get up to 75. Should be a good day. Maybe we'll even have some steaks for dinner. Alright, I'll see you next time I stop. We made it, folks. Now, I don't know if I will be talking to anybody, just because I do get kind of nervous around these kind of things, but I just pulled up, I'm waiting for Amber to get here, but I might go inside and see if they're friendly or not, go from there. How long have you been working here? Um, my dad bought it when I was six. Oh, nice. Um, but I've been working full time for him for a little over a year. How do you like it? I love it. Keeps me busy. Keeps me in shape. I don't have to work yeah. out. Of the benefits of bulking and the benefits of real meat like this compared to you know I mean, going to the supermarket it's just straight from the farmers and like local farmers and um, I think that just tends to give you a, a more quality animal I mean all the stuff at the grocery stores and everything is like the mass produced coming from a beef farm you know that the cows never really get to be outside. Yeah. Whereas all of the farmers around here, um, you know, they it's their it's their passion. They're good at because they like to. So I think it's just and it's small. I mean, it's just small town stuff. So they're buying from the farmers and keeping them busy, keeping them. A lot of the grocery store stuff is just so mass produced and uh, mass run. Yeah. A lot 
lot more slip through the cracks. Thanks, man. Yeah, you will. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's frozen pretty dark. Yeah. All right, you guys, so we got the cooler absolutely jam packed. Plus, we got an extra box. We have a bag full of organs. God, sometimes I really hate this one. We got a bag full of organs, and then a box full of more roasts and steaks. Should be pretty good. And also, I gotta show you guys this. So I guess this is next time. I won't actually come out and watch, but they do all of the butchering right here, like hanging a live animal and stuff. And then, some nice lady told me that they had dog bones back here. So you know I had to get busy a couple of bones. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I grabbed a couple little ones too. You got oh. a big dog? I do. That was just three, a big bone. I got bones. three big dogs. It's still pretty big for them, but... Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I got another dog in mine that will last It'll one. last them a while. That'd you know, be a lot of money to buy from the store too. You know, yeah, I, that's that's what I think too. Yeah. Well, people pay good money too. Different cuts, they like to use bone marrow. Yeah. And these are fresh enough that you could actually do something with them. Uh, Saw them right in half and bake them and do, get it in you there. do all the works. Yeah. Yeah. So you could probably consume them yourself. But. Thank you. Yeah. So that dude, he was he was getting like femur bones for his dogs they were giant like he must got some some big dogs but that was cool they have free tubs of freshly butchered bones for dogs um amber said from from farm to cooler 1400 for a half a cow and that includes the actual cost of the beef and the butchery and the processing which is better deal than I could ever find online. Um, so definitely we'll be coming back. I don't know about this particular place, uh, just because I don't know if my aunt and uncle have any more cows that they're gonna be butchering this year. They might be all allocated. I think they only do like five or six a year. Um, but I definitely need to tell them we need like a full cow for next year because I'm kind of gluttonous when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, I just want more and more and more. So, but it, I'm super excited. Gonna rush home, get this in the freezer ASAP, get some thought out for this evening, and test it out. See what all the hype's about. But yeah, that was really cool. Um, gotta go inside, go back to the freezer, uh, chat with the young chap. I didn't even ask his name. I was so panicky. The lady up front was super hesitant to. Let me, it was, as you could see, everything's done right there. It's a really small family owned business. And I don't think they're just fans of cameras in their face while they're working, which I get small town vibes and stuff like that, you know. Um, I've got some cool content. I'm super excited. This turned out really good. Next, get to see all in the freezer. Maybe even have some meals, have some liver or something like that. But yeah, thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ryan, Reiners. Uh, thank you Katzers for the beef. Thank you South Hill Meat Locker for butchering all that stuff. I'm, I'm just happy as a clam right now. One of my, I'm like getting emotional. Uh, some people, or I remember having conversations of like, yeah, I eat, I eat steak all the time. I eat ground beef all the time. And they're like, that's a lot. And I'm like, I remember vividly telling multiple people like when I, when I can, I want to be I want to get to the point where I can eat beef every single day. And <laughs> you're going to be eating beef a lot right now. Homegrown, organic, good food. I'm, so, I'm fucking stoked. I'm living a good life. Pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool.
Ready to start filling this thing up. First we have our beef heart. It's a big old boy. We got, we got tongue. We got a full thing of beef tongue. Oxtail. I'm not even entirely sure what that is, but we got oxtail. And then liver, solid beef liver. I think this has like the most nutrients for anything ever is like animal liver. More beef liver. Liver. This boy got liver on him. Liver. And another liver, so we're about to be looking at Liver King 2.0 out here. There's one drawer completely full. Oh yeah, I got these for Grizzly. A couple of shin bones, I think. Let's see if Mama will let her eat it. Oh, T-bones. I'm so excited for these. So excited. I'm going to leave these out because I'm going to put these in the fridge. We're going to eat these tomorrow. And then we got a bunch of roasts. Um, this is a chuck roast. Now, I'm not even sure what the differences are between all these roasts. Here we have an arm roast. Arm roast. Chuck roast. Beef sirloin tip roast. Another big old chunk roast. A couple of beef stew meats. Got these right here. Now it's time for Yeti. That's heavy. You rolling? Mm -hmm. So we have the full Yeti. We got a couple of cube steaks. Um, round steak. But a lot of these are, but cube steak. It's weird because they came in rectangular packages. T-bone, I'm putting this on the top. Sirloin steak on the top. Some beef short ribs. Get a nice variety. Cube steaks. Sirloin. Fuego. Some more short ribs. Tenderloin. Ooh, that's prized possession right there. Rib steaks. Oh wait, does that mean prime rib? Those might be like ribeyes. Top shelf. Wait, does that, I think these are ribeyes too. Nice. Okay, round. Beef short ribs. A nice rump roast, quite thick. And now, I don't know if this fridge is going to be big enough. Now, all the rest, we've got fresh ground beef. Ground pounds beef. and two pounds. It should last us a while. top-notch steaks up here two full drawers of fresh ground beef we got all of our roasts and then we got a drawer full of organs you missed this a shelf I think yeah what's that one? Uh, oh yeah these ones are like the side cut steaks so we have an extra rump roast cube steaks short ribs oh, yeah. um, stew meat yeah. we're about to be eating good then we got one more shelf for some miscellaneous if we ever get more Maybe Costco put chicken or something. Maybe Grizzly's bones in there for now. Yeah, Grizzly doesn't feel good, so we'll give her these later. Yeah, some big boys for Grizzly. Wait. You should have seen it. I got a video of 